And now the story of what doctors call a common birth injury that turned into a case of alleged child abuse. And a local mother claims ProMedica Monroe Regional Hospital didn't treat her newborn's injury, ignored the mother's concerns, then called Child Protective Services on her. Our Michaela Marshall has the exclusive story tonight, all new at 11. Well, Lee Diane, for a mother, it's hard to imagine anything worse than to be labeled as a child abuser. And for Kyra Doom, she says that nightmare became a reality just five days after her daughter Erin's birth. Here's her story. Local experts say a fractured collarbone is one of the most common types of birth injuries, especially in big babies like Erin, born at 8 pounds, 14 and a half ounces. And that's something former labor and delivery nurse and current mother of three, Kyra Doom, is well aware of. The whole circumstance was terrible. She says her now six-month-old daughter was born with a broken collarbone, and after delivery, she noticed Erin was turning purple. Seriously concerned about this arm not moving. The collarbone is still swollen and bruised. Her husband asked for an x-ray, but the parents say they were repeatedly told everything was fine. They're making me feel nuts. You're the mom. You're not the nurse. It's okay. And except for these two nurses' notes, all medical records indicate the baby was perfectly healthy after birth. I knew something was wrong, that motherly thing. Kyra has kept documentation of everything and showed me what she says are all of the records. Aaron was born on a Monday. They were discharged from the hospital on a Wednesday. Then on Friday, the concerned mother took her newborn to visit a pediatrician. We go get the x-ray and I'm standing right in the room with her and I see it come up on the screen. Clear broken half. Furious, she went to speak with the manager of the OB unit. A doctor let us go with me pointing it out. I said, and my daughter really does have a broken collarbone. Shame on you. Please educate your staff so that nobody goes through this again. And then that night, Child Protective Services knocked on the door. And as she goes, you have, a, you have a baby with a broken collarbone? And I said, yeah. She goes, and you did it? And I said, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, kind of, I birthed her. At just five days old, Kyra says Erin had 24 x-rays done to verify that she had no other broken bones. The pediatrician she saw who diagnosed the fracture wrote a letter to confirm the injury was from birth. Even with the CPS finding of no preponderance, which means that the evidence did not support any kind of abuse, Erin's medical records indicate alleged child abuse. The Dooms met with Prometica's legal team and say the health care company did foot the bill for the CPS ordered ER visit. We finally met and we're basically told with finality, sorry, we're not sorry. All I wanted was those words removed from my daughter's chart. Kyra hopes others can learn from her story, but she's worried for the future. If she falls off the slide in a year, two years, I don't want them to think that I am harmful to my child, like, because that's the picture that's been painted. I did reach out to Permedica for a comment. A spokesperson sent me this response. Permedica takes all patient concerns very seriously. We have worked with the Doom family regarding this matter. The family's concerns were investigated. The actions Permedica took were deemed to be appropriate. Lee Diane.